Don't worry about me. It's time to talk to Mendoza and his amigo, the smuggler. You sure about that? Let's go. Mendoza said to lay low for a little longer. You attracted a lot of attention. I've had enough laying low. Hold your horses, Ray. Can't hurt to stay in hiding for a little bit. Well, fine, little brother. Let's hide then. At their hideout. You are one impatient son bitch. We're looking for Juarez. That's the boss. I know that some bitch from somewhere. Hey. We're looking for Juarez. Did he pull out? Mr. Mendoza has decided to continue his journey without me. Barnsby? He didn't like the idea at first, but I convinced him it would be in his best interest to leave you two behind. Ray and Thomas McCall. I made a blood oath on the flag of the Confederacy that I would hunt down every deserter who fled my command. Because of cowards like you, Atlanta was burned to the ground. My wife and children murdered in their beds. Meanwhile, subhuman animals are now free to live among the decent Christian folk. Free to do whatever they want. Fornication with our women. Misogynation. Colonel, you will pay for your betrayal. You will die a coward's death, and you will burn in hell for all eternity! Colonel Jeremy Barnsby never laid down his arms when the Confederacy surrendered. He raised an army of disaffected Southern soldiers who weren't yet ready to admit defeat. He led his men west through Arkansas and Oklahoma where they robbed banks and trains and hijacked supply convoys. Hounded by the U.S. Army, they were driven south to Mexico, crossing back and forth across the border, continuing to fight a war that had ended years before. Hunted down by the Pinkertons, Barnsby was captured in Arizona. He was awaiting extradition when my brothers unwittingly liberated him. I'll ask again, why does Juarez need the weapons? There's three of you, so if I beat one of you to death, it's really not a problem for me. It's payment! For what? The medallion! Please, don't hit him anymore! William! He's gonna kill him, Ray! What medallion? Look, there's a legend about lost gold hidden in the hills outside Juarez. I've heard of it. What of it? The medallion is the key to finding the treasure. Juarez is exchanging the rifles for the medallion. My rifles? <laughs> yes, sir. But they're useless. He paid almost nothing because they're worth almost nothing. Who would trade for rusted old rifles that aren't worth spit? Apaches. Juarez is swindling them. 
Is that where he's headed? Apache territory. Yes, northern Arizona. They have a guide. Good. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Hang him high. What about the boy? He needs to hang, too. For aiding and abetting traitors to our glorious cause. How did you know? Those rifles were useless. Who told you that? Me. So leave them alone. You? Well, that's interesting. And who told you? Can any of y'all move? <clears throat> me? No, they tied me tight. You see that saw? Cut your binds and untie us quick. But I don't know if I can... Easy, brother. You can do it. Now us. Come on, come on, hurry up. Someone's coming. Ready. Someone's coming. Take the chair. It's the only weapon here. Son of a bitch! They're running away! Don't let him get away! There's more! Thank you, Lord. God is dear. What now? Let's look around. You look around. Oh, brother, you jump and climb like a damn mountain lion. Me, I prefer firmer ground. You see a road? Yeah, downhill. Great. Just don't expect me to do any running. 